John Pitford is with us. Yeah. Is it relief at the end of that game? Yeah, I think we've had a, two good um, tests and uh, probably been, I think we've played a really good night and uh, a lot of challenges. Um, and for, for myself, I've made a, a bad, I wouldn't say it's an error, a bad decision, bad uh, execution and uh, it's cost us the first goal. We've got back into it. Then um, I look at good set piece goal in the game, but offside. Uh, but you know, never see a die, and that's what the, the, I think it's pleased the manager the most. And we've had a good week and um, a lot of injuries, but a lot of op- opportunities for us as well. So it's been a good week. You're always very tough on yourself, and yeah. you don't make many mistakes. In fact, I can't remember a mistake you've made like that in an England shirt. No. But the way you responded to it, made a couple of really important saves as well. Yeah. That speaks about your character, doesn't it? Yeah, mentality's always there, you know. Um, just next next moment I do make sure it's a good one and um, just keep keep working at high levels and uh, you get your rewards and um, you know Jude, Jude is quality you know, all the lads were fantastic and uh, we didn't deserve to lose the game and um, in the end we've, we've gotten a draw out of it and um, it's good mentality that sort of stuff taken into tournament football 16 England senior players unavailable because of injury and then you lose John Stones in the first few minutes as well that's tough, isn't it? That's disruptive. And, and look, you're one of the more experienced players in this England squad. Just how tough has it been with so so many players absent? Yeah, it's always going to be tough, but it's opportunity. And um, I think all the lads who's had that opportunity have grabbed it with both hands and been fantastic. And, um, you know, we worked on the training and pitch and whoever starts, you're in the England side for a reason and the England squad for a reason because you perform more like your club. And, um, yeah, it's been it's probably a little harder for the manager, but... Um, as us as players, we're, we're here on merit and uh, we'll keep working and um, given the opportunity, we'll, we'll grab it with both hands. Quick one about Cobby Maynard. Makes his England, first England start at the age of 18. Yeah. Impressive as well. How's he been around the camp? How impressed have you been by him? Yeah, it's quality. I remember, uh, I think he made his, his debut uh, his full start for Man United against Everton at the start of the season and he dictated the game pretty much there. So, and he, he, he's not he's not been outside since for Man United. So, and he's come in and he's I think he's just done what he's been doing at Man United and you can see he's a top talent. You were just talking about youth and uh, scoring that last minute goal. How impressed are you still impressed with him and with his mentality? Yeah, his mentality is unbelievable and, um, you know, characters like that, you know, he keeps driving the team and he keeps pulling players around him and um, credit him, he, he takes his chance and gets it. He's had a few other chances in the game. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's what Jude does and that's what the mentality side of it, that's why he's a top player. And Jordan, you've been in a, to a few major tournaments with England. What's the feeling like in the camp before a squad is named? Is it excitement? Is there extra tension? What, what's it like inside there? Um, we know, well, we've had two good games against tough opponents and uh, top nations and uh, now it's just about every individual now going back to the clubs and finishing the season off positive and um, doing the best for your clubs and um, hopefully get you, you get the call come, come May when the squad's announced. Cheers. Jared Bowen with the Jared. Um, well, first and foremost, congratulations on the two performances personally. Uh, and just rewards for bringing them at the end there. You left it late. I did leave it late. Kept jumping on their toes. Um, I think it goes to show you that we still need some power to keep going in the squad. And we were very disappointed from them. You know, this week with two two games, two defeats. You know, it's not the standards that you know, have been set over over the years. And you know, you've got no performances that have been there. I think um, today, I think we deserve more than the draw, but. What does it say about the character in the side? That 16 players are missing through injury. You lose John Stones, one of the most experienced players on the pitch, very early on as well, and you can still put a performance in at the end and get a result against a world class opponent. Yeah, and I think everyone played their part. You know, it was Mathers that played the ball to Jude at the end, and you know, it was all about those players making an impact. And it's not just you know the starting eleven that plays. It's been a lot of players used this week, and everyone's come in and you know look, looked at ease with it. So I think that's a really important thing if you want to be a, you know, a really top top side is having that flexibility in the numbers and in the squad. You've had a lot of game time over these two two games. Given the manager something to think about when, when he gets next things about the Euros. I'd have enjoyed it more if the goal was stiff. Um, but no, listen, it's, when I came here, it was with the mindset that I've got to do what I do at club level week in, week out. And so I think that was, that was the main thing when I got my opportunities. And, you know, you're playing at Wembley for the Sunshine, it doesn't get much more special than that. So I think it was just down to me to try and play my game, play the game that I know that I can play. Um, I'd like to say, pretty disappointed that I'm at school. Let me ask you about that one. I mean, VAR. I don't think there was VAR in front of us. 
I just didn't just didn't cross my mind because it was from a corner and I thought Bogey headed it kind of back I haven't seen it but I don't really want to watch it because I've got sick but as soon as it went in I was like oh, well I've done that I've scored the goal and then run back to halfway and the ref was checking it and I thought it's definitely disallowing this it's just my luck the first goal to be disallowed but you know, hopefully there'll be more opportunities to, to score goals. It's cruel sometimes you know it's not nice. Um, you know, like I said, especially with Premier League, I think there's VAR. Like I said, it's even crossed my mind and the way the goal happens. Sometimes you can get you know, a feel for it, you know, if the cross comes in and you make a run in behind, you can make a feel that you know, it might be offside here. But I don't, honestly just didn't have any income that it was going to be offside from the corner. But you know, I just got to try and keep, keep going. Uh, and Joe, you said that all you can do is focus on, on your game and play how you're going to play. But has it felt different this camp knowing that? The next time you potentially meet up is when Gareth Southgate named the squad for Europe. No, I think I think I spoke to someone after our Villa game when you know before I came into this camp and said that you know I just want to keep doing what I've been doing for club level and bring that here. And you know I can you know I can play my football in, on the biggest stage and I think that was that was these two games for me were just I didn't know how long I was going to get any of the game. So when I got the opportunity, it was you know down to no one else. It was down to me to go out there and play my game. You know, not, hide from the occasion so to speak and try and take it all in and show what you can do and I feel like in the two games I've showed that I can do. Your performances have been really positive, had had good feedback, what what would it mean to you were in that trailer? Yeah, no, it's special. I've just said that playing it for Wembley for your country is special and to go to a major tournament would obviously be another level but you know, like I said, it's down to back to West Ham now and finishing the season really strongly, um, doing all I can, you know, not coming off the page that I'm on now, um, having a good over to the season and seeing where the squad takes me. Yeah, what the shape is in the final place? Yeah, it's been four days in the place, it's not that you've got to talk. Listen, you're playing, you know, top, top tier opposition, and I think that's what you're going to be playing just before the tournament. Um, yeah, you can always look at the, you, know, you spoke about the injuries at the start, and missing key key players and put out the performances that we've done over the last two and especially tonight, I think there's a lot of marketing and threats and really good opportunities and really good to move forward and just kind of gifted the goals to them in the end, which you know, against the elite league teams it's hard to do that. Um, so yeah, I think there's a lot of confidence that we can build on from this camp. Yes, we lost one game in Drew, we haven't won, but you know, I think look at the bigger picture of the performances, we know results will come with you know, this you know, this this squad that we've got and you know, we said it earlier about the resilience and the characters keep going and get you know, the draw and of course we're not happy with the draw. But you know, we're not sat here after you know, two defeats from two games. I don't know, you tell me, I haven't watched it back yet. Well maybe I don't know, I haven't you know, I was just concentrating on me. Idea. Uh, you know, I just uh, try and play my game as best as I can. And, you know, let, let people do the talking for me. I just try and do it my work on the pitch. And I think that's always been the mindset. Yeah. Thank you. I've been talking with this boy, boy, that must feel quite special for you. Yeah, very special. Very special to get on the score sheet. I think it would have been a little, a little down if we uh, lost the game. But thankfully, you got something from the game for us. And uh, I feel like we did fully deserve something. What about your goal as well, to get your first England goal? And, and from the penalty spot, it was almost inevitable with you, but it was a, a, a heck of a calm finish. Yeah, I always got to stay calm. On the penalty spot, I always do that. I just take my time, walk away with the ball, and uh, you see the keeper trying to come out and put me off, and the players trying to come over. But I just stay calm, make the keeper wait for me, and uh, just sweat in the back of the net. You, you won the penalty as well. How pleased were you with your overall performance? You had to sit there and watch the Brazil game and be patient. You feel you took the chance tonight? Um, uh, I hope I did. <laughs> I hope I did. I'm always going to try and work hard. Even when I'm not playing, I'm always supporting the boys and supporting Oli, obviously. That's my competition. But like I say, all the, all the time, it's friendly competition. I wish him all the best every time he goes on the pitch. But yeah, I felt like I've done, done well today. And hopefully I'll, put my, I'll give myself a good chance, put my name forward to be there for the Euros. It's actually a year ago today you made your England debut. Yeah. I think you're only the third player to do that over the year between, between caps. Did it make the goal all the more sweeter after having to wait that while for it? Yeah, I didn't know actually. Peter Beardsley messaged me this morning and actually said you made your debut a year ago today. So that's something I didn't know. But yeah, I think it's extra special a year later. I'm here starting and scoring a goal. The attack seemed to link really well. You you was kind of a, a focal point. How was it up there with Phil Foden and Jude Bellingham fighting up here? I mean, with them top-class players around me, it's always going to be easier. Um, 
I think, like you see for the penalty, Jude just sliding the balls down the, down the corner and Phil playing into my feet and running off me and these kind of things. It's, it's a joy to play with these players and I'm sure hopefully I can play with them a lot more. And Kobe Main also made his first start just 18, wondering what you, you made of his performance. Yeah, I think at 18 I was probably playing Xbox, but <laughs> you he's out here being a, being a man and playing playing for England, and he carries himself very well. He just glides with the ball, and uh, that's a lot more to come from him. I'm sure, and I'm sure it goes right to the top. Oh, one more quick one. After all you've been through, we know how tough times have been for you. To get back and, and then playing for England and scoring your first goal for England, how special is this? The sort of thing you were thinking about and dreaming about when you weren't allowed to play for England? Yeah, 100. Um, percent I always think positive. Obviously, there's down times, but you've got to think forward. There's no point thinking of things that I can't change. What's done is done, and now it's got to think forward, and hopefully I can put things right and be positive. Sorry? The biggest difference? England's performance. Um, I think we've, we've, we played well in both games, but uh, we just didn't really take our chances in the Brazil game. Thanks.